sustainability of the, of the amateur club. Clubs like these say Bala are thriving in winter because it means young lads signed up by professional clubs can still play out their under-16 year at amateur clubs before moving on. If the pro and amateur seasons clash, the amateur clubs lose their talent. It'll leave a big hole in Wigan St Patrick's under-16s. But that's not just St Patrick's, that's every under-16s team you know, with a, with, within the game. And there's just a massive gap there that the professional sport will benefit from, but the amateur sport won't. But not every tier of the amateur competition agrees. 24 hours later and the National Conference League final between Plateau Heath and Siddle. The National Conference League has voted to make the switch to summer, so next season this game will happen in autumn rather than spring. A number of factors, uh, the weather, um, the scheduling, the kids that belong to our clubs, they, they moved last year by and large. They're growing up in the Super League summer era. As you can see today, much better weather, decent field, it produces quality football, and that's what we're on about. This season, 78 National Conference League games were called off due to the weather. Though it's clear these players thrive in the warm, dry conditions. This final was not just highly entertaining, but slick and short on errors. Siddle were fancied to win, being league leaders, but it's been an amazing season for Thato Heath, promoted just this season and now crowned grand final winners. We proved a lot of people wrong at the start of the season. They said we'd go off straight back down, but I think we proved a few people wrong. Well, what do you think was the difference between um, winning and losing today? I think we just we like, like a big uh, wide pitch, we like sling the ball about, and I think you just get paid off today. A short turnaround season now, and then it's summer rugby league for these men, and they're looking forward to it. There's a few teams, like you know, the North West Counties teams and other the, um, the regional leagues, they're like the, the muddy pitches, the boggy game, but with the skillful players that we've got in the National Conference, they like the dry pitches and we can play a bit of rugby then, so yeah. What began with Super League is gradually turning into a movement. The National Conference League, just the latest to vote to give it a go. Looks like the debate's raging on. I mean, we've had 16 years now of summer Super League. Surely the whole game, amateur, professional, should be under the, the one summer, well, the one season, shouldn't it? Well, I, I honestly, Eddie, never see a difference between professional and, and, and amateur with, with, with our love for the game. I actually believe that we're all one game. Uh, I, I never really get involved in a them and us kind of scenario. We get paid, they don't. They, they are Trojans, they do it for the love of the game. And I've got the utmost respect for everyone who's involved in amateur sport, whether it be at open age or at junior level. But I can only, I can only take as a find. I mean, I, I, I watch an amateur game virtually every week. Um, 